Hi guys, welcome to Music Business Today, where we bring you the latest and greatest music business news. Yes, we do. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about Carrie Underwood's latest venture, mm -hmm. uh, some Queen musical for you, and a little bit about what Napa is now offering to students online. So stick around. Talkopolis, the social media TV network for your city. Hi everyone, welcome back to Music Business Today. I'm Hannah Renee. I'm Kane Harrison. We get started with the wonderful Carrie Underwood, yes. who is gracing the front page of Women's Health, and no doubt because yes. she's absolutely stunning and looks incredibly fit in this. Um, but she's giving some, it's not such a, it's like a sexy cover, it's more of how women can look after themselves type Yeah, cover. it yeah. is. And she, one of her little blurbs that they have posted on just the website about her being in the magazine is, I was very happy to read this, yeah. that she talks about using coconut oil, that it's like her go-to thing for everything. I I use it for everything, mm -hmm. so it makes me feel good to know that other people do as well, and I'm not Well, that I mean, you can weird. use it for everything. Cooking, um, you can use it for cooking, cooking, you can use it on your skin. It's a great moisturizer. Uh -huh. It has natural healing properties what to are, it. In your hair. You can use it in your hair as a hair mask. Um, you do that for don't two leave weeks, it on and then all of a sudden you turn into Carrie Underwood, and you sing fabulously, and Grace covers a magazine. Yes, Is that how it works? exactly. So just use coconut so oil. So you don't need personal trainers. You don't need millions of dollars. Nope. You don't need any plastic None surgery. of that. You just need a jar of coconut Perfect. oil from Trader Joe's. We're in. You're I good love to it. go. Speaking of <laughs> queens of music, oh, how do you like that? Mm. Queen, Brian May has told us that they are going to take the absolutely fabulous We Will Rock You, which has been like 12 years in London. Yeah, on West End. Um, absolutely killed it. And they are going to bring it out to North America for uh, 24? 26. 26. 26 City, 26 City, City North American Tour. tour. Kicks off this month in October, and it's going to finish up next August. I've never seen it. I feel like I've heard yeah. about this forever, you know what I mean? Like yeah. The, it's going to well, be... It's just supposed to be really feel good, just a fun musical to watch yeah. and be a part of. Well, I mean, Brian talks about it, that he says Freddie would be so proud of it, that he, uh -huh. it's just a phenomenal um, yeah. musical experience that showcases their music, and I guess what they are about yeah. so well. I'm sure it would be great Bringing if Queen to, to um, a new audience as well, So, yeah. um, which is really, really cool. I love it. Let's talk about something that we've talked about a little bit before because of yeah. Berkeley moving to this new online experience and being able to learn some music from the greatest mm -hmm. people that are possible. There's some more people who have cashed in on that, and that is yes. a group that coming is coming out of Napa. Um, they have. And they've basically got a bunch of musicians together that are, you know, world-renowned musicians, and you mm -hmm. can go online and pay not very much, to be honest. I think yeah, it's, it's $20 per a month a or month. $240 for a year. Right. And you can do online music lessons with them. You can uh, tape video yourself mm -hmm. playing whatever instrument it is that you're learning and then send that to your instructor. And then they will then send you back a personalized tape of, you know, corrections, what you can do better, and like teaching you how to better play your instrument. Yeah, right. And it's called Artist Works. And I think yeah. that, again, once again, we talk about this, how do musicians generate more income for themselves? Mm -hmm. This is a great way to do it. I think if you went back five years from, they would have gone, I couldn't be bothered, I'm on tour, I'm doing this, I'm doing yeah. that. But now they're all sort of getting into this realm where you can you know, um, communicate, I guess, yeah. with an audience that's willing to pay. But so many people now learn instruments yeah. on well, YouTube, and this it's is crazy. So, yeah, and it's more personalized than going on YouTube. You're definitely gonna get more one-on-one -on -one and more focused attention. It's not just someone posting a video, Here's how you play this. It's well, like, I mean, it's not so much of a drag either. I remember yeah. I've had drum lessons since I was like four and a half, and I'd go to <laughs> school, and then I'd have to go to conservatory music, yeah. and then the same for singing and the same for guitar. It was kind of, I love music, but it became a bit of a drag as a kid to go, oh, yeah. no, it's 4.30, I'm going all off to time. guitar lessons or drum lessons. Everyone else is running outside to play. That's all changed now because yeah. so many kids learn on YouTube, and it's a brilliant way to learn. We were talking That's off true. camera before. Um, I'll show my age here by saying that I would learn by ear, so I'd listen to a song, have to rewind something or send the CD back, start again, do it again. But now you've got great musicians saying, hey, this is how you play yeah, something. And you can just sit there straight away yeah. and learn it. Like and they can that. teach you their tips and their tricks and things that they've learned from years of experience and playing professionally that you may not be able to glean from just a YouTube right, video. Right, which for or, me, the whole point yeah. is, I don't know if these sorts of things will be sustainable yeah. because of the fact that I think kids will still go to the go-to of the free YouTubes and the yeah. community of YouTube of showing each other how to play stuff. Well, but this was actually talking about people that have done it that, like this one guy's in his 70s that yeah. does it. He hadn't played guitar for 50 years. Right. And then he picked up his guitar and started taking these lessons because they're affordable, he loves playing guitar, and he wanted to get back into it. I think it's so. good, but I think he's 70. So, I mean, let's not 
not hope that that's their target market because not sustainable. But let's move on <laughs> to some really cool Nashville news that Sony ATV Nashville's Troy Tomlinson mm -hmm. has been named chair of Tennessee Film Entertainment and Music Commission. Um, he is a Tennessee native um, and Which has done some awesome. wonderful things. Yeah. Yep. Mike Kerb was um, the founder of Kerb Records, of course, was mm -hmm. the chair for many, many years. Yeah. And, he stepped um, down, but he he's still going to be acting in the background. Absolutely. I think yeah. it's a great change. I think it's really cool. Um, and we want so much, and we're on the bandwagon mm -hmm. here at Topopolis with this lovely actor <laughs> sitting right beside me. And this me. lovely musician. And another actor sitting over there producing <laughs> the show. But we really want, obviously, more uh, focus for mm. music, film, and TV to be yeah. in Tennessee. And I think that this guy, a new change, some new ideas, maybe we can start pushing I that I think sort of it'll be forward. great. I'm excited to see what he brings, you know, to the commission. and. Yeah. I'm excited to see if there's any initiatives that he tries to put in place well, for bringing to more a, film here. And I know we, we have to finish up, yeah. but I think they need to make a bit more noise. They need to bang the drum a bit more because mm -hmm. no one really knows about these commissions, so they're obviously yeah. not doing enough at the ground roots level. So Yeah, there's definitely a very small group of people that are aware of yeah. it. Yeah. So, I mean, I would love to see the Tennessee, you know, Nashville Film Festival and all those sorts of things grow to a point where it's mm -hmm. so recognized that we have a lot of income yeah. streams from that. And it's not just from music and insurance in this town. It's also from film. Yes. And I'm out of breath, so let's finish. <laughs> well, that's all we have for you guys today for Music Business. So come back, see us again. You can find us on Facebook, which is probably where you're watching it right now, no or your phone app, which is free. You can download it on your smartphone. And we also are online on our website. We are, and we are going out to nearly 140,000 people now. So if you're watching this by yourself, you are not alone. No. And we love it. It's That's really creepy. cool. So thank you guys for your support, <laughs> and we will see you next time on Music Business Today.